guys i couldn't continue from the first video that's from the front i thought my camera was recording but which almost towards the end of videoing the camera was not recording so i have to start all over again so please forgive me for that so this is just the part two this is the back so please watch so if you want to watch the part one i'll be linking the video up you can click to go and watch the front side of the princess that straight pencils dress i'm starting all over again so this is my starting line. i've already labeled all the lines this is my starting line which is also the shoulder line this is the chest line this is the waist line this is the hip and then this is the hem line so from the shoulder to the chest line is nine inches as i did on the front nine inches because i'll be taking one inch for the shoulder slope it will be left with eight inches so from the shoulder to the waist is 17 inches and the shoulder to the hip line is 25 inches the shoulder to the hem line is 38 inches plus one and a half inch for the hemming allowance so let's get started so I'm imputing half of my shoulder measurement, which is 8 inches. So guys, I forgot to explain. This line here you see is the zipper line. So I took one and a half inches for the zipper line. This is the zipper. This for the zipper. So all the measurements are going to start on this zip line. This line, not from the edge. It's going to start on the zipper line like so. So let's continue. I imputed half of my shoulder measurement, which is eight inches, and I'll come down one inch for the shoulder slope like this. And then the neck width, I'm taking three inches for the neck width, and then one inch for the neck depth. Then I'll connect it. Then I will connect the shoulder slope to the neck point. After doing that, I will measure the eight inches I mark for the shoulder line on the chest line so that I can get the ample line straight. So next, I'm creating the ample line. To create the back ample cap, I'll find the center of this line, which is four inches. Like this, I don't come in half an inch because it's the back. The back, you connect straight from the center of this line to the boss line. But to do that, I have to impute the boss measurement, which is 10.75. I mark like this. Then I'll take my curve ruler to connect the ample for the back. So this is it for the back. So on the shoulder slope, I'll be adding half an inch for the joining allowance. So I added half an inch for the joining allowance. So the next thing to do before creating the princess that for the back is to insert our that. And to do that, you need your nipple to nipple measurement. And the nipple to nipple I'm using is eight inches divided by two is four and I'll add half an inch to it. So on the first line, I mark 4.5 inch. Nipple to nipple measurement is eight inches divided by two is four inches. And I add half an inch for the sewing allowance. So on the waist line, I'll minus half an inch from the four and a half inch then i'll insert four inches here i minus half an inch i'll insert four inches here four inches on the hip line and then four inches on the hem line so what i'll do next is to take my ruler and connect the points to the hem line and then from the waist i'll connect to the chest line like this The back pattern is very simple and easy. So now to create the 
armhole that for the back on this center point i'll go up by one and a half inch you can go up by one inch you can go up by half an inch but i prefer it a bit higher so that creating your princess that will show very nice and it will sit very nice at the back so i'll go up from this center point one and a half inch Then I'll connect it to the boss point. But to avoid this sharp point, you just blend it inside like so. You see that? So what I'll do, I will extend it with one inch for the journey allowance so that there will not be shortage of joining the darts. So because I extend it with one inch, I have to add the one inch to the post, one inch to the post measurement. So the next thing to do is to recreate the ambo for the back with my curve ruler, like this. So this is our new ambo for the back. So what I'm going to do now is to insert all the body measurements. Now this is the boss line. At the back, I didn't put the under boss because we don't have boss at the back. So moving to the waistline, I will divide the waist circumference by four, which is 9.5. So I mark 9.5 here. Don't forget we are you, we are starting all our measurements on this zipper line. Then I'll, I'll take one inch for the journey beginning. So I added it here. Then on the hip line, the hip divided by four plus one inch for journey. The hip divided by four plus one inch for journey is 12 inches. So on the hem line, I'll minus one inch from the hip line which is 11 minus 1 is 10 plus 1 inch joining of the dart which is 11 so I'll add in, I will insert 11 inches on the hem line like so so the next thing to do is to connect the bust to the waist to the hip and then to the hem line So the next thing to do is to add two inches for the size seam allowance. So guys, the next thing we are going to do now is to eliminate our zipper bulging. And to do that, I'm going to be extending the waistline and the hip line. So on the waistline, on the edges I'll go in half an inch and then use my stretch ruler to connect from this half an inch to the neckline and then from this half an inch I'll connect again to the hip line so after you go on the zipper line and also go in half an inch Then you connect it from this half an inch to meet this neck point here and also to the hip line here. So this is our new zipper line. This is our new zipper line. And then we are going to cut the left over here. So this is how the back look like. So the next thing to do is to cut it out. So I'll level it the back. The back body. Then so 
So I'm cutting the dots now. So our back is ready. This is it. This is the back. So guys, we have come to the end of today's video. If you find this tutorial helpful, please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. Share my video, comment. And don't miss out on my next video. Take care and I love you all. Bye.